I'm making a Korean braised soy chicken, so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook! The first thing we're going to do is submerge a handful of potato starch noodles in water while we prep everything else. Next, we're going to use a quarter cup of tamari or soy sauce, a quarter cup of oyster sauce, and a quarter cup of rice or corn syrup. Add one tablespoon of your brown sugar or brown sugar substitute, mix this well, and set it aside. Now, I like to chop all of my veggies first to get that done and ready to go so when we're cooking, we can just throw everything in the pot. So we're going to need about five green onions, cut these into two inch pieces and then keep the white stem part of it and we're going to thinly slice these because we're going to use this to garnish our dish when we're done. Just soak them in water and let it sit there while we're doing everything else. Now grab a medium onion and cut these into large chunks. Peppers I think are optional, I don't think you necessarily need it but if you like a little bit of a kick in your dish, go ahead and get one red chili pepper and two green chili peppers and just slice them. I again love Persian cucumber so I always have those. So just use that and slice it and also do the same with a carrot. You're going to need one large carrot and just slice those thinly. You're going to need three medium sized potatoes. I had one large and one small so that balances out, right? So just cut these into large chunks, that's all. I prefer plain white mushrooms, so I grabbed about five of them, four or five of them, and I just sliced them up. You're also going to need about a third of a cup of minced garlic. I didn't want to chop those up because it's about two bulbs worth. So I'm using the pre-minced kind, and of course I've got my ginger. We're going to mince up really finely. For the chicken, you can use chicken thighs. I happen to use chicken breast because that's what I had. Just cut them into large chunks. Now in a large pot, go ahead and add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and cook your chicken on a high heat setting. We're going to cook this until it is pretty much no longer pink. And once that's done, go ahead and add your garlic and your ginger in there and give it a good stir. Next we'll be adding our potato chunks, about three cups of water, and the sauce that we had made earlier. Go ahead and also give this a good stir and then let this cook with the lid on top of it for about 10 minutes. From this point on, we don't need to cook with the lid anymore. So now we're just going to add our onions and our carrots and let this cook for another 10 minutes. Keep the lid off again and just give it a good stir. While those are cooking, make sure you go ahead and drain your noodles and add them into the pot and give this a good stir as well. Your noodles should be bendable and not breaking at any point. But now we're going to add the rest of our vegetables in there. Go ahead and add a teaspoon of sesame oil and some more ground black pepper. And cook this for a couple of minutes and then let's get ready to plate it. Serve it in a large dish and then everybody can have their own individual dishes. But uh, I don't even think you need rice with this. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please hit that subscribe button. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.